Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and I want to talk about the massive ramifications, another massive ramification of the Dungeons & Dragons community clicking together with the LEGO community officially, changing both communities forever, in my opinion, merging them into one community uh, as of April 1st, 2024. Okay, so we are about to receive LEGO... Lego Dragon's Keep Journey's End, the official Dungeons & Dragons set, 3,200 pieces, $360. This thing is coming to actual official Lego shops. Um, we're expecting it on April 1st, 2024. I know that's weird, April 1st, April 1st but it, that, that's, that's when we're, I, I, I literally took it off as a vacation day. Like, that's when they, they're expecting this thing to drop, okay? All right. So here's the kicker, right? I don't think people have any idea how important this connection is going to be. And it's going to change a lot of things. And one of those things I think it is about to change is how we look at D&D &D copy games, right? So that, so a perfect example of this would be Pathfinder. So I'm going to say this for Pathfinder, but I think it would apply to OSE. I think it would apply to Dungeon Crawl Classics. I think it would apply to... Role Master, you know, like all these copy games, games that co that simply copy Dungeons and Dragons. All right. So what do we do with these right now in the D&D &D community, right? Some of us have them in our collections, right? You have, actually, I have a copy of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I sold my first, my you know, first edition Pathfinder as soon as I had 2nd Edition, right? But I have a copy of it, right? And it's changing... And the Lego community collect, can connect, click, Dungeons and Dragons community, click, Lego community, click, they're together, they're, you know, click. Two blocks become one block, okay? Um, but, and it's changing the way I think about it, right? And the reason why is, I think the minute these two communities connect, one, it's gonna be like two dogs sniffing at each other, right? Like, you're like, hey, hey, who are you? What are you? Wait, what, what? Are you guys intense and adamant about your thing? That's the Dungeons and Dragons, and, and like, and uh, and you know that's gonna be Lego to Lego community to Dungeon, and they're like, uh, we're the Dungeons and Dragons community. We're incredibly intense and adamant about our thing, and and Lego's gonna be like, Lego community's gonna be like, that's cute. You ain't seen nothing yet. Do you want to see people intense and adamant about a thing? Y'all say you, you, that feather in the cap ain't just on your cap. We're <laughs> like, like. Man, oh man, I I know the I know the intensity of the of the Dungeons and Dragons community. Like Dungeons and Dragons, get, literally just says the name of a new book. There's a thousand videos up within an hour, right? Like we are intense and adamant, right? The Lego is even more intense and adamant about their thing, right? Now I think they're gonna, you know, once these dogs sniff each other, they're gonna find out. Hey, we are both doing the same thing. We're both life life modeling. You guys do it with books. We do it with bricks. We're both life modelers, and 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 this union has been has been made to form a greater nation, right? Like, and I will tell you right now, I think you're about to put a booster rocket on the Lego community, who bunch used a bunch of build you used to build a bunch of bricks and sit it on a shelf and do nothing, right? And but now. The D&D community is like, hey, everything you built, you know, you can tell a story with that, right? <laughs> and they're going to be, can't we? <laughs> and we're like, yes, let's show you how. And then uh, and then the D&D community is going to be like, uh, the Dungeons & Dragons is like, hey, look at my miniature. And the Lego community goes, that filthy suck thing, you will never use a 28 millimeter again. Let me show you what a real mi uh, miniature system is. Let me show you what a real terrain system is, right? And the flexibility and the capability and the power of the Lego, uh, of the Lego brand and the Lego products will um, literally people will just throw their door before in a lake. It's junk once we, you know, once we officially connect to Lego, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Okay, but get this. So so I've been learning everything I can about the Lego community. Right uh, to be to be ready to serve them once they're part of the Dungeons and Dragons community. Right once they merge, once those two things merge together on April first, and ain't no brick safe separator ever going to separate them. Like that's going to be it. Those two communities are going to be one community in my opinion. Right, in my humble opinion. All right. So here's the thing. 
So I watched this video. I got the link below for this video. This guy bought a, a giant 40 pound tub. He bought a tub, a tub, a container, right? Of Lego bricks. And it was 40 pounds. He bought it from a state. The person actually died, right? And he bought this 40 pound tub, right? And he's like, hey, I'm really excited, everybody. I got this 40 pound tub, but I need to get this thing ready, right? And uh, to, to bring into my collection, right? And so he, so then he puts the tub down, right? And the collection, and he's like, oh no, look, there's real Lego here. And then there's fake Lego, copy Lego, faux Lego, right? And he goes, so we gotta separate these, right? And he's like, and you're like, uh, you gotta separate them? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta separate these, right? So he starts picking out all the all the pieces that are not real Lego, right? And he's like, oh yeah, you gotta take these out, right? So he has this gigantic tub of of Lego, and he takes out all the pieces that are not real Lego, and he gets a gig he gets another tub. It's in another tub, like it's a smaller tub, right? But it's like easily. Five, 15 pounds of this fake Lego. And so I'm expecting him to go, okay, you've got this fake Lego here. We can take this over to the library, give it to these people, give it to a group, and they'll build some things with it. And he goes, so he, you know what he says? He says, okay, we got these fake Legos out. Do you know what happens with this tub? It goes in the garbage. It goes in the garbage. No one can touch this because it's disgusting and it doesn't belong in any collection. And I looked over, and I and when I heard him say it in the video, I was like, I looked over my Pathfinder too, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's fake Lego. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> you know. And I felt the same disgust that he felt, right? Like, Lego has protected this life modeling intellectual property for eight decades, right? And Dungeons and Dragons is fifty right now, right? And Pathfinder is kind of a disgusting copy really like, like i'm like yeah uh and i will tell you right now like before we were all like oh you play Dungeons and dragons and you play pathfinder i think increasingly Dungeons and dragons would be like i play Dungeons and dragons wait did you just say pathfinder oh uh the, uh, the exit door's over there bye like and i'll tell you right now lego lego collectors they do not hear that noise they're like, you could take your disgusting fake Lego parts and you can hit the bricks, baby. Right? Like, you're like, oh, no pun intended there. Uh, no, no, no. It's real or nothing. Nothing. We do not abide bad copies. We do not even abide good copies. We don't abide copy energy here. Right? No, no. Right? And this is new, and I think this very well may spread in the D&D community. And I have to say, after seeing this this video, I'm like, oh man, uh, that's a big book. It's like 600 pages long. I could probably get $20 for it, but then it's just gonna go into somebody else's collection. And the Lego people are like, this does not touch any other human hand, right? They're like, this guy, he, I'm not kidding. He pulled out thousands of pieces. And she's like, you know what, here's an entire tub. Uh, it's a couple thousand pieces. You could probably build, you know, 20, 25 different sets with it. It goes in the garbage. Like he, he could not even imagine allowing another human hand to touch it. It was that disgusting to him. And I'm like, kind of see where you're coming from like i'm like I, li I like this intensity i like this adamacy right like it's real or it's nothing right and its place is in the garbage i think this is going i i'm telling you right now you have no idea how much of a booster rocket the the official cl uh, clicking of the dungeon dragons community to the lego community is going to be it's going to change everything forever okay what do i do so that i i really look at my pathfinder 2 book as as a blight in my collection at this point but i want to take a minute and ask you guys what do you think right do you, was that guy who threw all those parts out was he right like it's just gonna make every community worse copy stuff is disgusting and sucks and should be thrown in the garbage right or 
and I and I will say, I will say, I bought lots of 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 Lego, and it is like it feels icky, right? And so, is the best understanding of Pathfinder 2E as a fake Lego block, right? And then logically, it should go into garbage. Or do you think there's a different model? I'm willing to hear you. I think that guy's right. I think I think going forward for me, it's it's D and D, real, 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 right? And that fake Lego got to get put in the garbage, right? Like you know, it's just it's yeah, especially counter. Yeah, I think yeah, fake Lego. I think fake Lego has Lego has already answered this question. Right, the Lego community, the Lego community will not touch fakes, right? And they and you better not even mention it around them. They or their respect will you will drop to zero immediately, right? Like zero, zero, right? Just immediately. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what should I do with my Pathfinder 2 ebook? I'd love to know. Thank you. Please consider liking and subscribing. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion, nothing more. But what's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.